Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? It's your boy E. I'm back. I know I ain't been dropping videos uh, as I should be for you guys, but it's been a lot of work and the progress behind the scenes that uh, you guys, you know, uh, are gonna get brought up to speed on letting you know where we're going with my program with the uh lab as far as uh my business and uh we're we're doing some great things uh now and uh that's what i've been focused on so uh we're almost taking off with that and i'm gonna be bringing it to you guys here live and i'm gonna be able to have a lot more content uh for you guys you're gonna love this new format that's gonna be coming uh to the channel uh, uh, with that being said, today is a special day. Today is a BRC show in Elkhart, Indiana. So we decided that Fat Lion is gonna make an appearance. I haven't said that I was gonna come, but we're gonna come. Uh, it's gonna be me, Baby, Frodo, and as well as I'm gonna bring uh, two of Baby's sons with me as well. Uh, I will be showing Baby and Frodo and see where it goes. This will be uh, really their, both of their first times uh, showing. So uh, I just want to get them out there, let people be able to uh, see them and lay hands on them and put them in a show ring and see where they stack up against some of the best dogs in the world. With that being said, I'm going to take you guys with me uh, as I get uh, prepared uh, for the show. Uh, the show. I'm gonna be leaving uh, here probably in about an hour and a half uh, to hit the road and get there. I'm gonna have a friend of mine uh, accompany me to uh, help me with the dogs. Uh, so I'm gonna take you guys with me as how I get prepared uh, for shows uh, and you know get the dogs ready and looking their best. Uh, with that being said, uh, I just want to give you a pro tip on uh, attending uh, dog shows. If you're attending a dog show and you're taking your dog with you, and uh, especially if you have other dogs uh, at the, at the at your house as well, uh, I always make sure my dogs are up to date on their vaccines. Uh, I don't take puppies under 12 weeks old. Uh, I make sure that uh, all the dogs that I'm taking to the show have been uh, recently. Uh, vaccinated for uh bordetella that's kennel cough uh because you never know how people take care of their dogs or don't take care of their dogs uh and a lot of people bring sick dogs to the show that's just a fact so you have to protect your dog you know as your investment your dogs you know they're they're our family uh so i make sure that they're up to date on their vaccines i gave them uh another shot the other day and i also uh gave them their uh bordetella uh for kennel cough so we we're covered on that and now i'm just gonna be uh i'm gonna get baby out uh i mean actually baby's already uh up uh and ready to get uh washed so i'm gonna take you guys with me on the first person view as i get the dogs all washed up and uh prepped uh for the show and uh on this video i mean this is gonna be the show so y'all want to see how it's done how uh the old pros do it <laughs> as they call me the og or whatever but uh no i'm gonna have some fun today we're gonna get the dogs out you know network uh meet some nice people uh see some amazing dogs and you know just uh make the best of the day so uh come on with me and i'm gonna show y'all guys the fat line way What's going on out there, YouTube? It's your boy E from Fat Line. I'm back. I told you I was taking y'all with us. You know what I'm saying? We out here, we finna hop up in the Audi and the G-Wagon. You know what I'm saying? That's what we take it to the show. You see there? There go King Baby. Frodo. There go Frodo. Come here, Frodo. Frodo. Yeah, we taking these two boys with us. The Bass Brothers. Frodo. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna take y'all with us. We're gonna go to this BRC show and see what it do. So, uh, man, stay for this journey. Y'all gonna love this episode. Uh-oh, 
Look at these boys. Come here, baby. Babo. Baby. Babo. Baby. Baby. Frodo. Hey. Hey, boy ass. Hey, boy ass. Big head, boy ass. Oh, yeah. We on the road. We, we gonna be there soon. Y'all gonna see it. I'm gonna do something. I feel it today. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, well, that didn't uh, go as expected, uh, so I'm going to tell you guys what happened, so uh, hopefully it can help another person. Uh, on the uh, way there, about an hour in, uh, Frodo uh, wouldn't stop panting. Uh, he started developing real thick saliva. Uh, his tongue started uh, going purple so I could see that he wasn't really getting the oxygen that he needed. Uh, he was going, uh, having uh, what's known as a panic attack. It, was, it wasn't a heat stroke, but the uh, symptoms of a panic attack or anxiety attack in a dog uh, mimics the signs of a heat stroke. So uh, therefore, uh, I stopped and uh, I turned around and I stopped at a gas station for about 30 minutes. And uh, me and uh, James uh, worked on Frodo to uh, make sure that I didn't lose my dog. Uh, I ran in and I grabbed some uh, lemon juice and we had water and I squirted the lemon juice down his throat uh, and used paper towels to get the, uh, that extra thick uh, phlegm that they developed. Uh, when they're having uh, these type of uh, uh, issues. So uh, we, uh, and I got him out the car. That was a, another main point. So we got him out the car, let his feet get on ground. Uh, so uh, squirting the lemon juice, uh, just keeping them, uh, calming them down, letting them uh, drink some water and, uh, you know, just to calm his anxiety for a while. Uh, I was about, uh, say, 45 minutes away from the house when I turned around. So uh, after we stayed at the gas station for about 30 minutes, you know, just getting him uh, back uh, to a decent state, uh, we put him back in the car and uh, you'll, you'll never drive as fast as I drove. Uh, I didn't care if I got pulled over. I just wanted to get my dog back home because I knew what was going on. Uh, with him uh, a mistake that could have been made in that moment is a lot of people would take their dog to a veterinarian uh, at that point but since I knew it wasn't a heat stroke that he was having it was anxiety the best thing uh, for me to do was to get him back home to his familiar surroundings so he can uh, calm down so uh, I punched it, James, man, shout out to my uh, guy. He, uh, you know, kept Frodo uh, alert, you know, rubbing him, squirting the lemon juice in his mouth, keeping his airways open uh, all the way home. Soon as I got him home, I got him out the truck. I brought him in and I put him in his kennel. He went and drunk some water and he just laid down and he stopped breathing hard. He he was back in his element he was cool uh he went right back to being regular it was really miraculous and i mean i didn't end up going back to the show because i still was worried about my dog so i just wanted to you know watch him and uh be here with him so we didn't end up going to the show but uh i feel as though i take it on myself because i haven't really put frodo in the car like that and been driving with him he was uh, produced here you know he lives here I may take him on a few short trips like to a park but uh, I haven't really put him in a car like that and tested him being able to ride that long without uh, having you know some type of anxiety so with that be said said uh, I got some uh, trazodone uh, 100 milligram tablets it's for anxiety like you uh, give them to your dog uh, before you give them to your dog before uh, you plan on taking a trip with them about 45 minutes to an hour and a dog that has real uh, bad anxiety 
uh, they say it's good to build them up, you know, over about uh, 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 a day time, like, you know, a, a, a tablet every uh, six hours, I think. To uh, build them up before you know you have a, a trip coming up to uh, help them to be able to calm down and not stress out about traveling. So uh, I just wanted to bring this uh, to you guys and share my experience. I mean, it was a real s scary thing, you know. Uh, man, I couldn't think of losing my boy like that. So uh, no show is worth that. Uh, if your dog is in any type of distress, whether it be heat distress or anxiety, uh, get your dog out of that situation. You know, uh, some sometimes dogs just do not like certain things whether it be a vehicle whether it be you know a dog show or whatever uh no situation uh if you see your dog in some type of distress should you leave your dog in that situation and think that the dog is going to be okay so uh with that being said you know we are their caretakers we have to take care of these dogs and it's it, it's on us you know so uh man uh, i hope hope this helps somebody uh, so they don't lose their pet uh, I'm gonna be doing another uh, video like this just focusing in on uh, heat stroke because with this breed a lot of people every summer on uh, social media all I see is RIP this dog RIP that dog RIP this dog and it's for heat stroke and it's really I hate to say it, a lot of times it's just owner's negligence or owner's uh, lack of knowledge on uh, noticing the signs of heat stroke or just knowing different situations not to put uh, these dogs in. These dogs, uh, I call them vampires. You know, the sun will take them down. The heat will take them down. So, uh, but that's going to be another episode when I'm going to talk uh, directly about heat stroke. But this uh, is just focusing in on, you know, recognizing the signs of your dog having anxiety. Uh, it's it's going to be that excessive panting. Uh, their saliva is going to get thick and mucusy, and that clogs their airways up. So uh, what I like to do is I like I take a wet uh, paper towel and clean that phlegm out or uh, like baby wipes to because if you leave that stuff in there it's going to keep it uh, clogged up uh, lemon juice and water lemon juice uh, clears that phlegm up as well to keep that airway open like when your dog is going uh, through that type of situation you need to keep their airways open uh, and you know massaging the dog calm, trying to calm the dog you know uh, the, the human touch you know helps you know with that with the dog going through that but making sure that you're uh you know working to get this dog back to a place of comfort if it's an anxiety attack and uh, uh all thanks to god that i was able to uh get frodo back here he's doing well uh but it was a scary situation and uh from now on i'm gonna start taking him out more uh you know just uh let me ride with me uh, to work and stuff. I got some spe uh, special surprise that's gonna be after this episode to uh, show you guys uh, the new you digs. Y'all, you, you already know Eric always got something cooked up. So uh, with that being said, Frodo's well, everything's good. Uh, I'm gonna get back cracking. I'm gonna try to drop a video a day because uh, I got some big things going on. I'm gonna cue you guys in in the next video. So make sure y'all stay tuned. And I hope this information help y'all uh, with your dogs. If, if, like I say, if you see any signs of distress with your dog, like traveling or, or whatever uh, at a place and they start showing them signs of anxiety, hey, get your dog back home and don't take it. Uh, if, if it's not like where the dog is, uh, catatonic don't take the dog to to the vet because the, it's going to them different smells uh it's an unfamiliar place it was the dog is still gonna you know be experiencing the same type of symptoms because it's not uh, a familiar place once i got frodo back here where he familiar his his familiar surroundings he was instantly back good but with that being said i'm out this e fat line 
man. Keep it real, keep it bully, and I'll holler at y'all later.